The Texas Workforce Commission is under attack tonight. The agency tells KXAN it has lost nearly $1 billion in unemployment payments during the pandemic to identity thieves. Those thieves are part of what fraud experts describe as an international network of cyber criminals. We've also uncovered evidence the TWC might not have acted quickly enough to stop the fraud. And KXAN investigator Jody Barr learned this stolen money will likely never be recovered. Okay, so we received a letter uh, mailed on April 12th. This was, yeah, determination on payment of unemployment benefits. Lisa Martin ripped this letter open last month to find her husband, Jonathan, was about to get a raise, $535 extra each week in unemployment. Your husband was not searching for work? No, not at all. In fact, he was gainfully employed with the Texas Department of Transportation. TxDOT caught the fraud when the TWC sent the agency a letter asking about the reason Martin lost his job. And they say, we have seen an increase in fraudulent claims during this pandemic. Since January, TxDOT's flagged 530 fraudulent unemployment claims, each filed in the name of a TxDOT worker. The TWC later sent another letter confirming the claim made in Martin's name was an act of fraud. How important is this letter to you right now? I'm guarding it with my life. <laughs> but although I'm still worried about identity theft. The TWC investigated 1,100 fraud cases in all of 2019, but between the start of the pandemic last year through last August, fraud claims tripled to 3,500. Two months ago, those fraud claims exploded to 350,000 with $557 million paid to identity thieves. In the past two months, that totals jumped to 735,000 fraud claims and $893 million lost to cyber criminals since the beginning of the pandemic. For the first six, seven months, this thing was wide open. No state had implemented any security whatsoever. And then finally, finally, they start implementing security but it's too late at that point. The feds call Brett Johnson the original internet godfather. I was convicted of 39 felonies. I was placed on the United States most wanted list. I was sent to prison and escaped from prison, and I built the first organized cybercrime community. Once a cyber criminal himself, Johnson stole $7 million during his criminal career, earning him a spot on the U.S. Secret Service's most wanted list. After a federal prison stint, Johnson now advises corporations and the government on how to combat the crime he spent years committing. In the 90s, he founded Shadow Crew, the forerunner to what's now known as the dark web, an online community of criminals selling your personal information and how-to manuals on committing identity fraud. Let's see, uh, we can search for Texas unemployment. See if there's anybody talking about that. Johnson took us on a tour of the dark web and it only took seconds to find trouble. Texas, Michigan, there we go. There's, there's the Texas method right there for $15 on how to file Texas uh, unemployment. So these things were put into place with no security whatsoever. They're eaten alive. And I mean, they're eaten alive. They take a, a reactive approach instead of a proactive approach. The problem was is that these unemployment agencies, they had never really seen a lot of fraud before. Our investigation found that TWC did not install an identity verification system until November, eight months into the pandemic. The TWC system already had some basic fraud checks, like mailing letters to claimants and employers, giving both sides a heads up when a claim's filed. The agency says it had other security features in place, but the TWC would not talk about that. Criminals, though, were still getting around it all. In November, with millions lost to fraud, the TWC hired an outside identity theft company to confirm that the people filing claims were actually the people filing the claim. Did the TWC not see this within a few months that these fraud claims were going to a place that this agency had never seen before. It just didn't just start off, you know, day one, zero to 60. It started slowly, gradually increasing. And as we saw that, we started looking at the need for this and the need of putting in a, a dedicated system for this. So certainly any delays are unfortunate because that, that again, these are numbers 
that are very real and very concerning numbers. The TWC admitted it could have installed stricter fraud prevention systems to stop the attacks, but doing so would have crippled the system. You really have two things that you're trying to do in an unemployment system. You're trying to pay out benefits quickly and you're trying to stop fraud. If we had a system that was ironclad, that stopped all fraud, it would slow the system down so that those folks that you were talking about who are struggling to get by and, and could be losing their houses, their payments might be delayed by weeks and months. Experts warn us this fraud attack is not over. We saw activity on the dark web that cyber criminals are already planning attacks on the Texas DMV, the Department of Revenue, and even the food stamp program. And Jody, what is the state doing to protect against this? Well, we wanted to ask Governor Abbott that exact question, but as the governor has with every request for an interview with us about the TWC in the past year, he did not respond. But he did go on Fox News this week and say, 18% of pandemic unemployment claims in Texas were fraudulent. Keep in mind, though, experts tell us most of that is likely from organized cyber criminals, not unemployed Texans. And you said experts say these attacks are far from over. They are, and experts tell us they believe that these attacks on the unemployment system could top $1 trillion by the end of the year. Jody, thanks for your report. If you are experiencing any of the problems we've told you about here tonight, let us know about it. Submit your tip in our form on the Workforce Complaints section of KXAN.com.